Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to do a head-to-head -head battle between a primer that I've fallen in love with recently that is quite expensive, and a new drugstore dupe, allegedly, that has just come out from e.l.f. And I'm talking about the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer, which retails for $52.00. At Sephora. I purchased mine during the Sephora sale, so even after the sale, this was a $36 primer. And it's going head to head with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This retailed for $8 on the e.l.f. website, and I picked it up when they were doing free shipping, so it truly was $8. I've been using this Tatcha primer for a few weeks since that sale, and I've loved it. I've not liked a primer as much as I have liked that primer. I picked up the e.l.f. primer, it actually, so it released not too long after the Tatcha, immediately sold out. Immediately sold out. I signed up for the email list, I was waiting for it to come back in stock because I wanted to test it out, and I never got an email, but a friend of mine on YouTube commented on one of my videos and said it's in stock, I just picked one up, and I was like, get out of here, like, I, I want it. So I never got the notification, but I was able to go to the website and purchase it, and I also got the free shipping. So I've been testing these individually for a few weeks, and you know what? I do like both of them. I do think the e.l.f. is actually, like, surprisingly good, but I have not tried them side by side yet. So in this video, I want to do half my face, one half with the e.l.f. and one half with the Tatcha, and see how it wears throughout a full day, and if I can tell a difference. So before we jump into this video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these kinds of battles and like side-by-side -side comparisons. And if you haven't and you'd like to, I really hope you would consider subscribing so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday and for the rest of December, a video or live stream every day. So like I said in the intro, I am going to do one on each side of my face. So I've decided to do the Tatcha on this side of my face and I'm going to do the e.l.f. on this side of my face. And since this is going to be a wear test and I'm horrible at memory, I like wrote them down on my hand. So this one says E for e.l.f. and this one says T for Tatcha. We're going to get it. So I think I'm going to apply the Tatcha first because I've been testing out the e.l.f. one a lot more recently. So you've got the packaging just like this. I do like that they give you a little like medallion thing to scoop it out with because I don't like the one thing is with both of these textures. I don't like just like rubbing my fingers in or having to dig it out with my hands. I do like having this medallion. So I'm going to that's probably a little bit too much. Actually, let me not do that much. I'm only doing half my face. Yeah, so I'm going to use about that much. That is one thing about the Tatcha one. A little really does go a long way. And see, this is smooth. So I rub it between my fingers and it immediately begins to soften and become more like a an actual moisturizer. So I just checked my hand to make sure I'm on the right Tatcha side. But I'm going to just apply this on this side. Bring it up to the forehead. Make sure I get everything. And see, it just glides on. So with the Tatcha, I really don't have to work this into my skin. It's more of just making sure it's spread out. I bring this all the way up under my eyes. I take this all the way up here. So right off the bat, my skin feels very moisturized, very comfortable. I definitely see a difference in the pores right around my nose right here they do look blurred it also did a really good job of smoothing out like right here in between my eyebrows and a little bit on my forehead that has just like a little bit of texture but overall it just looks very blurred very it feels very comfortable as well and i'll bring the camera in after we apply the elf so we can see how they look side by side so with the elf one you get basically the same packaging except it's a uh, smaller container though i do think you are getting more product in the elf i'll double check that and throw it up on the screen just how much product you're getting in each one of these one thing i really did like about the tatcha is like i said the spatula i use the same spatula to get out the elf one because the same thing i don't like having to dig my hands into this i feel like it's not that great of an idea so we're just gonna go in and scoop up just about the same amount of product okay so let's right away this isn't smoothing out into like a clear kind of moisturizer like the tatcha but it is smoothing out so you can see it does have a bit of a tint to it and by a bit i mean a lot i probably got too much product but 
I like to smooth this out and then apply it almost the same way I would the Tatcha. So this one, when I'm blending it out, I can feel it tugging a bit more at my skin. Like this one, I need to work into my skin. So I'm gonna take a little bit more, bring this up onto the forehead. So I definitely did have too much product on that side, so I'm just gonna clean that up. So on the e.l.f. side, I'm still seeing that same blurring right here around my nose. It does look very nice. It also feels very comfortable, but the e.l.f. side does feel just a little bit heavier than this side. Like this side feels like I just put on my regular moisturizer and it's sinking into the skin. Whereas the e.l.f. side, like I can feel that there's something on my skin, but it's not totally uncomfortable. It still feels moisturizing. I, I can just tell like I'm wearing something. So let's zoom in and take a look. So again, this is the e.l.f. side. I am seeing a little bit of buildup on the sides of my nose. Let me see if I can blend that a little bit better. So it does stick in a little bit right there, but I did also see that on this side. I also have to blend it out just a little bit extra. So I just went to double check in the mirror just so I could confirm, but I'm actually seeing better pore blurring on the e.l.f. side that I am on the Tatcha. I can see a few like spots around here that just look very, very smooth and nice on the elf side. That's shocking to me. You can see they do pretty much the same under the eyes and on the forehead. So to test these two primers head to head, I wanna stick with a foundation that I really know. I know how it performs and I know how it works with other primers and like, I know how it should look at the end of the day. And that's the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. I have the shade 030. I am just going to lighten it up a little bit with my white mixer because I feel like it's starting to get a little dark for me because we're in the dead of winter. I feel like I'm very, very pale. So I'm going to lighten it up a little bit. And my favorite way to apply this would normally be just to apply it straight to my face. But since I am lightening it, I'm going to do this on a palette and then apply it on. So with the foundation applied to the Tatcha side of my face, it looks gorgeous, I will say. So everything is sitting very nicely. I'm not seeing really that much texture come through. I don't really see my pores right around here. I just think the Tatcha did a really good job of priming <laughs> like it should. And it should for a primer that is that expensive. So I'm going to apply pretty much the same amount on the elf side of my face. I'm shocked again. But yeah, I'm shocked. I'm looking in very close and the foundation is actually sitting better on the elf side than it is on the Tatcha side. Let me zoom you in. So where I'm seeing the biggest difference is right around here. Do you see how smooth and blurred and nice the foundation is sitting right here versus right here? Just overall, the elf side looks very smooth. It looks very plump. The Tatcha side doesn't look bad, but I, there's just a noticeable difference right here. Okay, so with the foundation on, I'm going to jump off camera just to finish the rest of my face, and then I'll come back with the rest of my makeup on to begin the full day wear test. Alright guys, so I'm back with the rest of my makeup on. I am filming quite a few videos today, so you might see this green eyeshadow look in a couple of them. It is right now 9.53 a.m. I pretty much finished my face makeup right around 9 o'clock. <laughs> takes me a little bit longer when I'm filming. So I'm going to call this check-in time 9 a.m. I am going to wear this all day. I have some editing to do. I have a couple other videos to work on. And then Alvin and I are actually going to run out and do some errands. We have to finish up some Christmas shopping. We might see a movie or something. But I will do a check-in, hopefully natural lighting. I was trying to film in natural lighting, but it's like gloomy and like stormy outside. And we're supposed to get some rain or snow something. So I will do some check-ins, hopefully outside, hopefully in some more natural lighting. But let's take a look real quick just at how everything's looking right now. So this is how the foundation and powder and everything is setting. I have been having some issues with the tip of my nose. I don't 
default that to the primer or the foundation. I'm not quite sure what it is yet, but I have seen that quite a few times even not using this primer. I do like the way that the foundation and everything is sitting right here. It also looks really nice on my chin. It also still looks really nice on my forehead. So I'm very impressed so far with the e.l.f. one. I'm really glad I did the side-by-side -side review. So I will see you guys in a couple hours for the first check-in. <laughs> Guess where I am. All right, guys, so it's been just about six hours. It's 2.53, so almost three o'clock. So we're just under six hours for this check-in. My lipstick is mostly gone, ignore that. All right, so mister, you're looking at the two sides of my face. Which one looks better? And then turn around. What do you mean turn around? What? Turn around this way. Yeah, there we go. So which one? <laughs> because it's split right on the middle. So I've got a primer here and I've got a primer here. Which one looks better? Left side looks better from the right side. Yeah, still left. So this side? My left. So, As okay, point side. to the actual side. This side. This side? Okay, so he said the Tatcha side looks better. So he said it looks like the foundation, everything's setting better on this side, but when it comes to like pores and everything, the elf side is definitely looking better, like right here versus yeah. right here. Because yeah. right here I can see pores and everything coming through. This side it still looks smooth. Yeah. Um, overall, the forehead looks pretty good. Did you split the forehead too, or? Yeah, the whole face is split. Does anything look different? Right side forehead looks better. This side? My right. You need to point at left. it. So right here. So the elf forehead side looks better apparently. I just like, I'm very impressed by the way that it's looking right here. Mm -hmm. Cause that's basically what this primer is meant for is for like pores. Mm -hmm. and this looks okay. Not too bad. Right? Not too bad. So it's been just under six hours. I'll keep wearing, excuse you car. I'll continue this check-in later. <laughs> All right guys, so it is the end of the night. It is just before seven o'clock. So everything's been on for just about 10 hours. Can I just say that I'm shocked by looking up close? The L side looks better. I think the e.l.f. primer wore better, particularly around here. You see I'm getting a little oily right there, whereas this side looks pretty good. Tip of my nose rubbed off a little bit, but I'm not really going to blame the foundation for that. But just look how smooth everything looks. I can still see pores over here. So I am shocked. I really want to redo this experiment with some different foundations, you know, some different combinations and do them side by side still. But I would say this proves that that e.l.f. primer is a dupe for the Tatcha one, in my humble opinion. I probably won't buy the Tatcha one again just knowing that there is an $8 perfect dupe out there. So thank you guys so much for watching this full wear test. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I can't wait. Oh, so that's not a, <laughs> this is lipstick. I was at Ulta and I was testing lipsticks and it looks like a, a bite, doesn't it? And don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.